Installing a new added duplex receptacle from an existing GFCI receptacle, with explanation. The surface-mounted receptacle outlet will be added from an existing GFCI, ground fault circuit interrupter, receptacle outlet and installed elsewhere in the same room, circuit extension. The receptacle must be of the TR type, tamper resistant. Turn off the circuit breaker to disconnect power to the existing GFCI outlet. Open the GFCI receptacle outlet junction box. Make sure the power is turned off. Disconnect the GFCI receptacle from the wiring. Make sure the junction box is large enough to accommodate another cable. To extend the circuit, run a cable of the same size into a different receptacle that exists in the receptacle from which the cable comes out. This receptacle is protected by a 20 amp circuit breaker and has 12 AWG, American wire gauge, wires, so the cable to extend the circuit will be 12 AWG NM non-metallic sheathed cable which is adequate according to the NEC the NM12 2 cable has 3 wires ground wire bare neutral wire white hot wire black to install a new receptacle outlet protected by an existing GFCI receptacle outlet you will also need 4 inches square metal junction box 21 cubic inches capacity Decora style duplex receptacle Exposed work cover for GFCI receptacle for 4 inches square metal junction box Green wire nut or any other Approved cable connectors Ground screw Staples Junction box installation screws. Select and open the junction box knockout. Insert the cable connector into the junction box knockout. Insert the cable into the connector, it must be long enough to connect properly. Staple the cable no more than 12 inches of the junction box entrance, and run the cable to where the new receptacle will be located. Install the junction box. Install the ground screw. Select and open the junction box knockout that matches your installation. Insert the cable connector into the junction box knockout. 
Insert the cable from the GFCI receptacle into the cable connector, it must be long enough to splice properly, and staple the cable no more than 12 inches from the cable entry to the junction box. Remove the cable sheath. Wrap the ground wire, bare, around the ground screw and tighten the screw. Trim all wires to no shorter than 6 inches. Strip the ends of the wires around one half inch and make a loop in each end of the wire. Remove the screws securing the junction box cover. Duplex receptacle front view, details, receptacle yoke, TR mark, receptacle installation screws, screw holes for securing the wall plate, removable ears of the receptacle yoke, duplex receptacle rear view, details. Push-in wire connector, accepts only 14 AWG solid wires, not recommended in case of high power consumption from the receptacle due to overheating of the receptacle caused by a poor connection. Ground screw, green. Neutral screws, silver. Hot screws, gold. Metal junction box, 4 inches diameter and 1 and 1 half inch deep. Details Capacity 21 cubic inches Raised ground screw hole Screw holes for junction box surface mounting, 6 total 1 half inch knockouts, 16 total Junction box cover installation screws Exposed work junction box cover Details Nuts for screws securing electrical device to the exposed work cover that need to be broken off. Holes for screws securing electrical devices to the junction box cover. Holes for mounting the cover to the junction box. Remove the receptacle installation screws and cut off all pre-notched receptacle yoke ears.
Connect the receptacle as follows. Ground wire, bare, to the ground screw, green, of the receptacle. Neutral wire, white, to the neutral screw, silver, of the receptacle. Hot wire, black, to the hot screw, gold, of the receptacle. Separate the screw nuts from the junction box cover. Install the receptacle to the junction box cover using the receptacle installation screws. Install the junction box cover with the receptacle to the junction box. GFCI receptacle installation. Strip the cable sheath. Splice the ground wire of the new cable to the ground wire from the junction box.
Trim the wires to no shorter than 6 inches and strip the ends of the wires to approximately 1 half inch. GFCI Receptacle Front View, Details Receptacle Yoke Tamper-Resistant Mark Test and Reset Buttons Receptacle Status Light Installation Screws Screw Holes for Securing the Wall Plate Removable Ears of the Receptacle Yoke GFCI Receptacle Rear View Details The receptacle load terminals are originally covered with a warning sticker. Line Terminals Load Terminals Ground Screw Neutral Line Terminal Silver Screw Hot Line Terminal Gold Screw Neutral Load Terminal Silver Screw Hot Load Terminal Gold Screw Connect the GFCI receptacle as follows Neutral Wire White from the existing cable to the neutral line terminal silver screw of the receptacle Hot wire, black, from the existing cable to the hot line, terminal, gold screw, of the receptacle. Neutral wire, white, from the new cable to the neutral, load, terminal, silver screw, of the receptacle. Hot wire, black, from the new cable to the hot load, terminal, gold screw, of the receptacle. Ground wire, bare, from the junction box the ground terminal green screw of the receptacle secure the exposed work cover with the receptacle to the junction box Restore power. Test the GFCI receptacle for proper operation.
Test the duplex receptacle for proper operation. The GFCI receptacle should turn off. Reset the GFCI receptacle. If this video is helpful please subscribe. Comments are welcome.